Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, I wanted to talk about the future of Pokemon. Specifically, what is going to happen after Scarlet and Violet's DLC comes out. What are we going to get next year from Game Freak? Will it be a remake? Will it be a new generation? If it's a remake, are we going to be returning to the Johto region? And what could that look like? That's what we're going to discuss in today's video. Let's jump right into things. I just want to put it out there from the start that I don't think we're getting the next generation in 2024. I think the timeline is too soon. I think for many reasons, the anime is not where it needs to be to end at some point next year. I just don't see a world, especially in the marketing cycle of Pokemon, where we get the region following Paldea next year. I also don't think that we're going to get a traditional remake. I don't think it's time for black and white remakes. I don't think it's time for black and white three, although that would be very exciting. And to be perfectly honest, of all of the things that I think we're going to get next year, if Game Freak decided to say, screw everything we've ever done, here's black and white three, 3D, as if the Unova world just kept turning after black and white two, that would be incredible. Please do it. I don't think we're going to get that. I don't think we're returning to Unova next year. I think it's too soon. I don't think it lines up with anything that Game Freak might be doing. A lot of people have speculated, and I want to get this out of the way now because there's people who have made much better in-depth videos on the subject. Johto is the region we have visited the furthest from now. It is the region we haven't been to in the longest. We've gotten Kanto rema re remakes recently with Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, so we've seen the Kanto region. We've gotten Sinnoh remakes twice over with Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl and Legends Arceus. We... The next game is Heart Gold and Soul Silver. In the timeline of Pokemon games that have come out chronologically, that is the most recent time we've been to Johto. And of all the regions before Unova and before what comes after that, it's the region we haven't visited the longest. I think there's a very good chance. I think probably the most likely chance that we are going to return to the Johto region in some form next year. I don't think it's Let's Go. I've said this ad nauseum. I don't think we're ever getting another Let's Go game again. Check out some of my older videos if you want my more in-depth thoughts on why, because that would take like five minutes out of this video. I don't think we're getting a BDSP style remake of Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I, I just don't see them dipping back into that well right now. Could Ilka develop another game in that style in the future? A, an unfortunate black and white remake in that style instead of something grander? Possibly. Maybe down the line. I don't think that's what we're going to get either. I think it makes all the sense in the world to give us a Johto game based on the Legends formula next year. I think it makes sense not only to give us a Legends Johto game of some kind, whether it's a Legends Celebi, a Legends Ho-Oh, something to that effect, but I also think it makes a ton of sense for that game to come out earlier in the calendar year. They have the Legends core gameplay already. Game Freak has it. They can make an asset reusing game using the Legends formula to give us a brand new Legends game in a shorter turnaround. Giving us the Johto region is ideal because it connects a lot, first of all, to the lore of the Sinnoh region, and they could continue to tell some of the historical threads that they started pulling in Legends Arceus in a Legends Johto game. They have the assets to bring this out to us at a convenient time and if they bring it out to us early enough in the year not an october november release they can also then give us dlc for a legends johto game at the end of next year if we get dlc for a legends johto game at the end of next year that then brings us to 2025 and before going any further i understand that this is like i'm looking at a pegboard or a cork board, and I'm connecting strings and trying to make a conspiracy. I understand that's what this video is, but this is where my head has been going for like three weeks now. If that all happens, we get a Legends Johto game early-ish in 2024 that gets announced on Pokemon Day, of course. We get DLC and expansion pass, whatever it might be, for said Legends Johto game at the end of 2024. That lines us up perfectly for 2025, the 30th anniversary of the Pokemon franchise, where we will no doubt get the next generation of Pokemon, most likely on the next Nintendo console. Now, of course, before we go any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. 
and check out the join tab, see if the perks interest you. And if you want to go the extra mile in supporting me, that's also always greatly appreciated. By that point, I think we will be into Nintendo's next console, whether it's just coming out or a couple months from release. And by the time that game comes out, it will be fall of 2025 and people will have their systems and they will be ready for a brand new generation of Pokemon. They want to celebrate an anniversary with a brand new generation. They've done it in the past. This lines up perfectly. Now, the topic of the video that I'm getting into halfway through. Going with all of this being true, if we get a Legends Johto game, I think it is an excellent opportunity to pull on some of my most interesting threads in the Pokemon franchise. I talked about the connections to the Sinnoh region earlier, and I think this is where a DLC needs to go. Johto and not Kanto will be explored in the core game of a Legends Johto game, and there will be a bevy of videos talking about how they are taking something that we've had previously, which is access to the Kanto region in a Johto game, and removing it, and this is a sign that modern Game Freak doesn't care about Pokemon and doesn't, doesn't doesn't really want to give their players a $60 experience, blah, 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 blah. That will happen. I don't really care right now. When we get DLC, we're also not going to go back to the Kanto region. Not at all. We're going to head north. We're going to head north to the land that exists between the ancient Hisui region and whatever Johto was called it back in the day, because we'll get a different region name for it, most likely. It will be the Sinjo region. It will be how Sinnoh is eventually named. It will be where we learn more about the Sinjo ruins, about the events that took place in Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver, bringing Arceus to the Sinjo ruins and creating an egg of one of the gods of time, space, and distortion. It will pull on threads of Cynthia's lore and ancestry, how the people of the Johto region eventually migrated into Hisui, the Hisuian people, how those people are the ancient ancestors of said people who migrated north, how the Sinjo area came to be and how it was civilized, some of the notes and pieces of lore that we get from Kogita and across the Hisui region in Legends Arceus can be explored and continued to be built upon. It can be a prequel of sorts to Legends Arceus because whatever happens in this game is, at least in my mind, going to take place before the events of Pokemon Legends Arceus. So if we're building a timeline of ancient Pokemon, this is where it will be explored. And when we get this DLC, when we get what I thought we would end up getting in Pokemon Legends Arceus, to this day, I'm stunned that we did not get DLC for that game, that we jumped right into a new generation. We got a free update that was slightly sizable, but that was it. I think this is where we get it, because again, it is an asset reusing sequel. They have the time not only to build a brand new game using this engine, just like with Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, although it won't be as substantial, because of course it's not, it's Pokemon, it's not Zelda. It will also give them the ability to work on DLC, fill up an entire year and then set us up for the following year. And when we explore the Hisui region's southern tip, which is Sinjo, Johto's northern tip, this mountain range that connects these two regions, we're going to get an exploration of the lore of what Arceus has to do with this region, why the people of Sinjo built this ancient temple and this ancient place to worship Arceus, and why it is able to harness the power of creation and give us the egg for Dialga Palkia and Garatina. It can pull on threads from Heart Gold and Soul Silver and can be a callback to Heart Gold and Soul Silver without having to be a brand new remake. This is what Legends Arceus was. It was a callback to Pokemon Platinum. Uh, Taco, who's on Twitter and has a YouTube channel, did a great video diving into Legends Arceus and the lore of Legends Arceus and how it is a remake of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, although not a remake in the way you would think. Uh, it's a tremendous video, and I think this game, this Legends Johto game, is going to do more of the same, and its DLC will be the biggest part of the game, at least to lore junkies like me, people who love absolutely nerding out and dissecting all of the things that Pokemon does quietly. It's soft world building through through uh, books in different towns and buildings, things that you don't have to see on your adventure, but if you do see, give you a better perspective. And returning to the Sinjo region, learning about the connections Kogita talks to us about in Legends Arceus, and seeing how that history reflects upon Johto is exactly what a DLC for a Legends Johto game could be. Legends Johto will focus on the lore of the Johto region, Ho-Oh and Lugia, the tower, uh, the, the Pokemon that were created from the fire, whether it's Celebi and time travel, that's where the focus will be. 
But the DLC will give us our connections to Legends Arceus, will give us our callbacks to Heart Gold and Soul Silver's event with Arceus. It is the best way for Game Freak to honor that game while not making a direct remake and also taking us back to Johto in the process. So those are my thoughts on what a DLC for a Legends Johto game could be. What do you think of my ideas? Let me know down in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this speculative style video, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I want to do more of them like it in the future. I know it's a little off the beaten path. I hope you all enjoyed. I will talk to you soon. I've been Linky and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.